to that point. It seemed like the car just kind of snapped around all of a sudden. What do you think happened? Uh, I got loose into, into one there and had been loose. They got loose and just over corrected for it and drove it in the fence. So uh, definitely my fault. Were you thinking at this point because you were so far up that you got a shot to win this thing, don't you? Uh, no, I mean, we had uh, we were one of the teams that didn't take any tires on that caution, and we put tape on the nose, and uh, I was a little bit tight, and a couple laps before that, I came off of four, and, and Casey Mears luckily was paying attention because I ran him all the way up the racetrack because I got tight off of four, but uh, so I tried to get up top and then up there, and I don't, I don't know why I got concerned about what he told you the worst finish is wrecking now so a little comfort we can't gain on anybody that just wrecked but um you know we'll uh, you just we didn't want we knew we might be able to gain points here but you know it's a coin toss that you might get in a wreck here and, and for us it was more trying to take care of ourselves and when that big wreck happened that really opened the door for us to to really take care of ourselves two of the three guys that are around us some points got caught up in it so uh, you know it, i i probably should have been smart and just sat back a bit, but uh, you know, at that point with 30 to go, I mean, we we were in position to get a top five out of it, so we had to take a chance. Tony Stewart, I'm Rick, but a little of the worst he was.